Hello all, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add a splitter to get uh, TV in another room. Now we've already run all the cables and the first thing we're going to do is uh, install this splitter box. Now this is a, a DC uh, splitter and we're going to be using these uh, F screw on plugs. So the first thing we do is uh, we're going to take these ends off the off the coaxial cable. Now these ends just unscrew off and then just pull off. Same again with this one, just unscrews. The only difference with this one is it's got a little uh, Phillips screw holding it on. Let's grab a screwdriver just to take that off. So let's quickly whip this one off. That's two of them off now. This one will just chop off the end because it's not uh, a screw type, it's a moulded type on the end. So now what we'll do, we'll just uh, nip the ends off. Ready to fit the, um, the F plugs. Now I'm just uh, whip the ends off these cables. Now we're going to take about 5mm off the um, the outer sheath and then we're going to uh, fold back the the inner cable of the outer sheath and then we're going to take about 2 to 3mm off the inner sheath just to expose the centre conductor Now these are uh, twist on F plugs, so all we do is just slide it over the end and twist it. It'll cut a thread across the outer sheath. And as you can see we've got 2 to 3 millimetres sticking out of the end. So we'll do the same to the other two ends now. We're ready to uh, install the two-way splitter. And this is uh, a power pass-through splitter. Now on these splitters they're normally marked in and out. So the cable coming from the, uh, the aerial outside goes onto your in. And then um, the, the other two leads go onto your out. So I'll just screw this on now and get this uh, all nicely secured. Now it's not the easiest of places to work this. I'm balancing uh, on the roof trusses and um, trying to screw this on at the same time. So we're up in the loft at the moment. So we'll just get these, uh, these three ends connected and then we can move downstairs and, um, and connect the other ends. Uh, joist but we're not going to do that right this very minute because we're going to go and uh, test it all first just in case we've got to uh, adjust any of these cables or make any changes so as you can see we can install it either on top of the joist with these, uh, these screws Or we can install it on the side of the joist, which is where I normally install them. I'll screw that to the side of the joist here. But we'll go and check first, make sure everything's working before. Okay, we're down into one of the uh, bedrooms now. We're installing one of the TVs. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop this end off. And then we're going to connect it with uh, a coupler. So that we can uh, extend this cable a bit to where the TV's going. 
because uh, as I said earlier the uh, the cables have already been run and uh, all we're doing at this end is just extending it and then uh, running it round to the TV so all I'm doing I'm just going to stick uh, a connector on this end and then we're going to stick a connector on the uh, other bit of coax that we're running round to the TV so same again I'm going to take 5mm off the end and we're going to remove the outer sheath and then we're going to take uh, probably about four mil off this end on the uh, the inner sheath so we'll just whip four mil off the end here and I'm going to double this end over just to give us a bit more uh, grip in the terminal I'll just grab a Phillips end for this and then we can just tighten that up that's it and I'll finish putting this all together now and then we'll uh, we'll get the tele tuned in I've put a male and female end on here so we can connect straight into otherwise you would have to use uh, one of these adapters but the way we've done it here we can just connect it direct okay we've run the cable around now and put an end on the this end and what we do now we plug this into the uh, the AV in or RF in and ready to tune so we'll power on Wait for the on-screen menu. Now we follow the uh, the the menu and go through the auto tune, and then we'll just let that run through its tuning sequence now. And here we can see our progress now of the uh, the analog channels, which it won't find any, and the digital channels, and the radio stations, and the percentage bar at the bottom there. So we're up to eight now. We'll let this run through and uh, do its thing. And let it all tune in, and that'll be as good to go. So thanks for watching. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get updates as and when we put new uh, videos up. So thanks for watching. My name's Darren, and I'll see you again.